The Pushing Points Coolidge Collection for Moto is a collection of scripts, tool presets, and commands designed to add functionality and increase the speed of working in Moto. Let's take a quick look at the initial tools included in the collection. The Quad Strip Pin Tool preset enables you to quickly lay down strips made of four point polygons. You can adjust the width of the strip interactively by right clicking and dragging in the viewport. The Sketch Quads Tool preset allows you to draw out quad strips. Start by right clicking and dragging to define the width, then left click and drag to create the strips. The quad ball script simply creates a new sphere item made up of four point polygons. The edges to active tube script is a quick way to create tube or pipe geometry based on an edge selection. To use, select the edges you'd like to work with, run the script, and right click in the viewport to produce the tube. The tool remains interactive until you commit. Curve to active tube is similar to edges to active tube, but works on a selected moto curve. Curve rebuild creates a new moto curve from the selected curve. This is useful when working with curves that were created from verts on existing geometry as the script reorders the verts that make up the curve. When working with the active tube scripts in this collection, the original curves are left behind. The active tube cleaner script quickly removes these curves when you no longer need them. The coplanar transform tool preset transforms the faces that are located on the same plane as the selection. Right click and drag to adjust the coplanar falloff angle. Border Transform places the transform handle at the border of the selection and enables you to click on any element to orient the handles. Soft Selection Push lets you transform elements along their normals. Right click and drag to adjust the falloff. Soft Selection Smooth will smooth selected elements gradually within a range. Right click and drag to adjust the falloff. Soft Select Jitter randomizes the position of selected elements gradually within a range. Right click and drag to adjust its falloff. Taper Edge Slide combines the Edge Slide tool with linear falloff. Quickly slide selected edges with linear falloff. The Vertex Map Transform Tool preset transforms a mesh based on the values of the selected weight map. Soft Select Adjust Weight is handy for adjusting the values of the selected weight map across a user defined range. Right click and drag to adjust the falloff. Soft Select Apply Morph applies the source morph map values across a user defined range. Right click and drag to adjust the falloff. The Reslice script removes selected edge loops, then reapplies the same number of loops evenly spaced. To use, select one edge of each loop you'd like to replace and run the script. Reslice Edit removes the selected edge loops and then reapplies a user-defined number of loops evenly spaced. The Slice Selected tool preset allows you to quickly cut new edges into the selected geometry. Range Merge Verts merges any vertices whose proximity to each other falls within a defined range. Right-click and drag to define that range, then left-click and drag to adjust the distance to merge. The Viewport Display script configures the 3D viewport with my preferred settings by hiding locators, displaying replicators and weight maps, hiding backdrops, showing verts and vert mode, and changing the inactive mesh display properties. The Reference Viewport script creates a custom viewport to display reference images inside of Modo. To use, simply run the script and drag images into the new viewport. The backdrop items can be repositioned, rotated, and scaled to the configuration you'd like. The Drop All VMAP script deselects all vertex maps. Select curves will select all Moto, Bezier, and B-spline curves in the active meshes. Select tries and select ingons selects polygons made up of three verts or polys with more than four verts without selecting curves. The masked constant script creates a constant layer masked by a vertex map layer. This is a common setup I use in the shader tree, so this script saves me multiple steps every time I use a constant layer. The shadow catcher script creates a material group set up as a shadow catcher. To use, select the polys you want to assign the material to and run the script. The new group will be placed at the top of the shader tree so that the base shader doesn't override the settings of the new group. Image Paths creates a text file that lists all images in the scene and their location. Add Camera Target uses a custom locator and uses it as a target for the selected camera. To use, select the camera and run the script. The Light Scripts enable you to quickly add pre-named area lights to your scene that have an initial orientation and position. The Coolidge Collection also includes several options that should be assigned to keyboard shortcuts. The Jump script moves the selected elements to the position of the cursor. Item Jump will move the selected item to the position of the cursor. The Workbench options enable you to quickly assign hotkeys that open the four default workbenches located throughout the UI as floating palettes. Add the Coolidge collection of tools to your workflow to work more efficiently in Modo.